Hello, this is Mike at Fountain Mountain. Today I'd like to talk to you about fountain nozzles for floating fountains. For dramatic effect, I want to show you a really small nozzle. This is a half inch inside diameter, 25 pin holes at the top. Obviously, not much water is going to come out of a pump into the air. Very, very restricted. That's the point of this video to show you how nozzles can restrict flow. Here's a very common stainless steel frothy nozzle. You've seen these in commercial parks, three quarter inch inside diameter. Doesn't go very high. Here is a brass nozzle, straight up and down uh, geysers. We got seven of them. Here is what I use on our one-third horsepower floating fountains. Uh, we have a flat head on this side, seven slots, an arched head on this side, seven slots. The arched head creates a, a trumpet pattern. The flat head provides a geyser one and a half inch for quite a bit of flow but still I'm using this on a one-third horsepower pump. We also include this nozzle with our one-third horsepower which provides a geyser option as well as a trumpet option. The trumpet's width can be varied by changing the set pin and changing the height of this cone. The geyser function is achieved by removing the plug from the bottom. Put the plug back in and you merely have a V. Slightly larger uh, volume one and a half inch nozzles we sometimes use on our 6,000 gallon per hour pumps. What I'm trying to point out here is I don't understand why some companies are selling these one and a half inch nozzles with one horsepower fountains. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's gonna the water coming out is gonna be very limited by the holes at the top of the nozzle. See here for our half inch. I mean, sorry, our half horsepower uh, floating fountains. This is a two-step nozzle, four inch inside diameter. We have a wide V, very wide. You can tell by the angle of the holes, along with uh, a skinny trumpet at the top. Holes uh, have angles to them, but not by very much. We also have an 11 degree trumpet nozzle. You'll see there's some angle to the hole. But for most aeration, see the size of the hole coming out of the top of this four inch nozzle? Now that's going to allow a whole, whole lot of water to be circulated into the air and to fall back into your pond. Going to provide the most aeration. Last nozzle I want to look, take a look at is the, uh, this is an old premium nozzle by Casco. I have not used this and I have not, uh, this has just been sitting around in my garage for some reason. I brought it into the shop today. Uh, you see lots of laminar flow. See how the pencil goes way inside these holes, way down. So the water streams out in straight lines creating a laminar flow so this one is creating a V pattern along with a geyser at the top. Make sure if you have any questions give us a call. Thank you.